Okay. I think we're good now. Are we good? Are we good? I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> hey. <laughs> that was weird. I think we are okay. He's back. New and improved robotic Kagan. That's not good. I still have 10 pages roughly of two papers doing 24 hours long mouth scripts. We, oh God, that is, that sounds like a problem, boys. That sounds like a problem. Anyway, I don't know what happened. Like my computer didn't break. It's just like my internet, like just like randomly just like fucked up. It was weird. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Cause it was like my phone. Like I, so I have two phones. One phone was able to connect to the internet. The other one couldn't. And then my computer just couldn't. It was weird. I don't know how to explain it. It was just weird. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you, Relagas. Thank you, Sting Dragneel. Number one fear, lamps. Let's stand there menacingly. Oh, yeah. I'll be on YouTube tomorrow. All right. Uh. See, that was weird. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. Shit was weird. Yeah. Thanks for all the birthday Never wishes. underestimate Sonic Speed! <laughs> well, oh my god. <laughs> I forgot I added that one for over $50. <laughs> Thank you, Relagaz. Jesus Christ, 75. Oh, wait, what was your message? Hold up. Let me go read it. <laughs> Let me go read that. Before we start, I want to say happy birthday, my man. I found you when you uploaded Doki Doki Choice Base. Jesus Christ, that was a long time ago. And gotta say what a ride you gave me and a lot of laughs and feels, even when I'm dealing with when dealing with my depression. So this is a gift for, from me to you and Monica. Thank. Thank you, man. Also, I'm sorry to hear about your depression. I'm glad that I'm able to help with that a little bit. Help you deal with it. I'll give you a shiny new base. Thoughts get I don't think I have a base to begin with. I don't know if I have a base. Zero, you're alive. <laughs> Mr. Bieber? <laughs> Is that Justin Bieber himself? <laughs> yes, I'm alive. You gotta start it strong. I see. Happy birthday. I'm happy that my first stream was your birthday, Zero. Well, welcome to your first stream. No Kikito? No Kikito? Yeah, thank you for the birthday wishes. This is my first stream. Welcome to the first stream. They usually don't start off this badly. <laughs> or it was me trying to fucking play music and then my computer decides, I don't think we want to stream today, Zero. I think I want to fuck up. <laughs> so yeah, usually that doesn't happen. But <laughs> the birthday stream has to fuck up. <laughs> Happy birthday, ho. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> also, I'm going to buy the merch. Hey, I appreciate it. Oh, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the follow. Oh my god, so many people are. <laughs> ah, um, thank you for the follow. Fancy Pants Skyle. <laughs> Epic Gamer 0364. Rubik's Cube 111122. Uh, Frost Noble. Solar Flare 7721. And Astral Coulter. Thank you guys for the follows. Also, yeah, the, sh the merch will be coming out soon. I just have to get everything situated. And yeah, it should be merch soon. Probably will buy the merch, but you'll get something, I think. All right. Well, thank you, Blaze. <laughs> you don't have to buy the merch. I understand it. I understand. Of course, it happens on the birthday stream, of all things. Yeah, that's just how long lucky I am. <laughs> of course, the birthday stream is the one where it decides to fuck me over. It's like, thanks, God. Really cool. Anyway, let's get some love and literature going, shall we? Satan is here and ready for the stream. Well, jeez. There's no even Satan is here. And even Satan's at the streams. Everything's a party. Everything's a party when Satan's here. Where's Monica? She was here, and then she had to go... <laughs> she had to do something real quick. But she was here while the stream was fucking up, so she's probably gonna come back and be surprised if the stream is actually on. <laughs> Doki Doki Communist Club. That's a weird mod. <laughs> Happy birthday, man. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for attending me in the, in the, the last year. And almost. It means a lot to come here live or be happy. So thanks and good luck. Thank you. Masonator bit. I think that's what it is. Thanks, man. Means a lot. 
Internet, you know what, Zero? I think I'm just gonna pop up, up your birthday because why not? Zero cries in the corner. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I could go cry in that corner. What else is nobody computer not cooperating? You're not wrong. My computer never cooperates. It's rude. Drake just bought a four hundred thousand dollar phone case. Well, Drake's weird. Drake has money to spend like that shit. Thanks for the follow, Zombie Hunter Hunter One One Five. I realize I'm only on chapter three of this, and I have no clue what's going on, but I'll stay for a bit and see whatever is going on. All right, Blaze. Hey, I appreciate for staying here for a wild ride. All right, chapter nine, Ohio Yuri. Oh, 11.02 a.m. Oh, recap. I guess we could give a recap, huh? Uh, what did happen last time? Uh, oh yeah, we are going to help Natsuki over the weekend. We told Natsuki like, yeah, we'll help you over the weekend. Sure. And then we were, and then we talked to Sayori about her depression. So we know she has depression. And yeah, that's kind of it really. <laughs> There's nothing else really going on. It's basically base DDLC almost. Yeah. Like, it's honestly kind of just base DDLC. You're going to post this on YouTube. Yeah, I will post this on YouTube. Yeah, so far it's pretty much- Oh, wait, when did you come back? <laughs> I already got $75 from Relagast. <laughs> the stream, like, just started, and then all I heard was, NEVER UNDERESTIMATE SONIC SPEED! <laughs> and I was just- And I was just like, oh! <laughs> and I was just like, oh, I see! <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I was just recapping. Basically, normal DDLC is happening. We learned Sayori's depressed. We're still hanging out with Natsuki to help her bake cupcakes. I don't know how Yuri fits into this. <laughs> Ohio Yuri. Zero, we can barely hear Monica. Oh, okay. Thank you for telling. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's not that you can barely hear her, Eagle. It's that she's muted. <laughs> wow. Thank you they for probably, muting me. They probably heard you coming out of my fucking headset because that's how loud you are. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I, was, I was joking. I had you muted when I played the music. You know that. How did you? How did you forget to unmute me? Uh, cause I forgot that you were here. <laughs> I see. You don't see. Yeah, I do. Tell her I say hi. Relagas says hi. <laughs> I think I changed my Twitch name to Wise Dog so we don't get confused, should I? I mean, if you want to. It's up to you. <laughs> Everyone's saying hi now. Alright. So, yeah. Let's go. I wake up in the morning and I wonder. Like, everything's the same as it was. What? Well, well, um. Pff, are we singing? <laughs> I don't sing. <laughs> can't understand. No, I can't understand how life goes on the way it does. I still squint it half shut, and I grasp out to the wall and make the radio plug out of its socket. Oh, the radio. <laughs> that was us. Oh. And I was like, I don't sing. <laughs> <laughs> I reached out for my phone, and the screen flickered to the home screen. A few minutes past 11 a.m. I groggily prop myself up on my bed, and it took a moment to stretch. Streams of sunlight were dashed across the blue-black late morning sky, streaks of pink-orange coating the clouds. I rubbed away the rocks built up in my eyes, feeling the streams of dry tears on my cheeks. I tossed my wallet of blankets off and stood up and walked over to the bathroom. This man really be out here, saying like 10 sentences before he just goes to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Man's giving up his, his entire life story before he goes to the bathroom. Yeah, he's like, I'm, I wake up and I should go to the bathroom, but first... Let me tell you. You guys ever think of the clouds? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> I love the clouds. <laughs> I spent just, mo just most of the night thinking about over what Sayori had revealed to me. I'm mad enough to admit that I cried, the full shock and weight of her revelation bring bearing, down bring ba bearing down on me like a pile of bricks. There we go. I sat motionless on my desk, thinking over all our experiences together. Now it all seemed so innocent and lax back then, now I'm tainted with the fact that Sayori was struggling inside and trying to keep herself happy so I wouldn't be displeased. I sighed. So I wouldn't be displeased. Oof. 
Zero, I hope you love rap songs. I'm curious to see how you'd actually rap in a mod. D am I gonna have to rap, <laughs> Blaze? <laughs> I don't. I don't really rap. I mean, rapping, I can rap. Rapping's mostly talking anyway to a beat, so I mean. <laughs> Not mostly. I'm not trying to sit here and say rap is easy. But it's like it's easier to rap than sing. Happy birthday, my non-autistic. I wish you and Monica a great year. Thank you, Spurgle the Star. It, it's Grievous. Hey, Zero, my internet's gonna be shut off, so it has been fun watching your streams. That's a big oof, Grievous. I am sorry to hear that. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, man. Well, I hope it comes back eventually, and I hope you have a. I hope you have a good day. You have a good rest of your life. <laughs> yeah. I finished up in the bathroom and stepped back into my room, stripping off my night wardrobe. <gasps> That's lewd! <laughs> I slipped into a pair of black sweatpants and navy blue t-shirt with the school's logo adorning it, not poorly clover with a yellow circular border. I put my phone on top of my drawer and stepped into the dimly lit hallway. Once I was done feeling sorry for myself, I started to think of a life from here on out. How much should I hang out with her that doesn't feel forceful to her? When are we, or she, going to reveal her sickness to the club? To her parents? Do her parents know even know about any of this? Or is she keeping it a secret from them as well? I can understand not telling the club, but, like, they are her parents. It's different. <laughs> Laughs maniacally in the back. Okay, so Blaze is gonna make me rap in his mod. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Either that, or you rap in this mod. Well, no, Blaze said he only got the chapter 3 of this mod, so I think it means his mod. <laughs> Hi guys, and happy birthday, Zero. Thank you for the birthday wishes, Winter Sayo, and welcome to the stream. An Uno reverse card. Wait, what? I see, but I'm not because I have an Uno reverse card. What the fuck is Sting Dragon talking about? Oh, he's talking about he being slow, okay. Should I finish the anime awards or this stream? Do whatever you want, Wild Slayer. <laughs> I didn't even know there were anime <laughs> awards. <laughs> Most of them are probably rigged anyway. I remember last anime awards I wasn't a big fan of. <laughs> it was like, best animation. And they had like a bunch of TV animated, like weekly animated stuff. And then a movie. <laughs> and it's like, oh gee, I wonder what's gonna win. <laughs> the one that's budget is clearly higher than all of them. <laughs> It had a lot more development time, or the one that literally has to come up with an episode weekly. <laughs> yeah, that and My Hero won a lot last year. Like, I am a big fan of My Hero, but there's some I feel like My Hero shouldn't have won. <laughs> Before I go to the bathroom, let me tell you about what I did last night. What I dreamt about, probably not a good idea, this is a little Natsuki, and what I had for dinner. <laughs> oh yeah, right. <laughs> He's making fun of the MC. <laughs> yeah, that's what he fucking does. Man monologues. Monologues more than me. Happy birthday, Zero. Be a great I'm gonna go to, birthday. Thank you, I'm gonna Johnson. go to. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to Sayori's house. Stands outside of Sayori's house. Did you know for Sayori's a girl? <laughs> <laughs> Girls are weird. Sayori, my best friend since childhood. She's a girl. She's 18. Her hair is pink, and she has blue eyes. I'm gonna open the door now. I reach my hand out to grab the door now. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Thank you, Grievous. Zero, do you watch Fairy Tale? Uh, I kind of got out of Fairy Tale because I'm not a big fan. I didn't really get into it as much. I have my own problems with Fairy Tale. I walked down to the living room and kept the lights off and most of the electronics unplugged to conserve power, the habit I picked up from my father. I started to place around and replug the ones I was going to use. I know she had told me not to tell anyone in the club about this, but still, it doesn't feel like the best way to do things. I know for a fact they would be 100% supportive and understanding about this. They would be there to help her and be just as concerned, if not more, about her than I am. But I had to respect her wishes and do things at her own pace, however fast or slow that may be. You're right. Why are we just walking around our house? <laughs> Where are we going? <coughs> I walked into the kitchen and flicked on the light. Oh, I guess it's because he just woke up, so he's just turning the lights on, I guess. Okay. I opened the fridge and reached for a box of pancake batter, setting it on the counter. Put out the other stuff I need. Syrup, strawberries, 
cream, maybe even a little chocolate shavings for an extra kick. Should I call her today? Trying to make plans again? Would she like that? Or would I be putting her through more unnecessary pain, trying to keep up her keep up her false happiness act? But she doesn't have to anymore, right? I know now. I know she doesn't enjoy putting me through her mo mopiness, even though that's never been the case. Or she tries to, but she usually can't. I dig out a pan from the pantry and turn the oven on. A circle of blue, blue pilot lights bloomed. All was warmed up, but I started making the pancake batter. I reached for a batter whisker. I... I still can't believe all this. I mean, I believe it, but I... How could I have never known? What kind of a person am I? Of course, in the light of retrospect, it all seems so obvious, but I just feel so evil. So twisted and vile. Is this right? I don't think it's right to be making pancakes. Should've been making waffles. Actually, I like pancakes more. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a preference. Oh, I don't really eat waffles. <laughs> <laughs> so, well. <laughs> pancakes, waffles, you know what I'm saying? Is this right? Should I feel this way? Am I really her friend? I poured a generous serving of pancake batter into the pan, which immediately began to bubble and pop in the heat. I stood there for a moment, listening to the batter begin to fry. The heat drifted across my face, brushing my eyes. I could hear the hum of the stove, the smell of sweet pancakes wafting, wafting into my nose. Uh, of course I am. Don't be stupid. I've always been her best friend, and she's always been mine. This is just... the hiccup. Yeah. All friendships and relationships have had their hiccups, their bumps, their issues. And they always, well, more often than not, get resolved, and the relationship is happier and stronger as a result. This is just a hiccup, and that's all. We will see we will get past this together. I reached out into the cupboard, cupboard and pulled out a glass and a plate. <laughs> the cupboard? The cupboard. <laughs> it's where I keep all my cups. <laughs> on a board. <laughs> I poured myself a light glass of orange juice and dug into another drawer for a pair of utensils. Thank you for the follow, Azrael Dremer 2036, 2036, and Lolly Police XD. Hey, I know Lolly Police from the Discord server. Doki Doki, not a Yuri mod. <laughs> That's a good name. <laughs> not a Yuri mod. <laughs> Doki Doki, not a Yuri mod. <clears throat> Knowing Zero, he'll probably drag this out with his monologue conversation with Monica reading the chat. You know it! <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm seeing that you guys are starting to finally pick up on the, on, on, on the on how things function around here. <laughs> Let's see what's on, I thought, taking a spot at the dining table. I snatched up the small gray remote and turned on the power. Oh! <laughs> there it goes. Ugh. TV flickered and a cartoon show, looking kind of dated, popped up. I started scrolling through the channels. You know, I love my parents to death. They're the best people I know. That's a random thing to say. <laughs> oh, okay, they're talking about how they're not here. But, in a weird sort of way, it's oddly liberating for them to not be here, even if it's for a few days. It's a taste of freedom. The eventual freedom I get when I go to university, and likely, move into a dorm or apartment of my own. It's a brush against being independent, being your own person, being able to make your own decisions without having to double check first or ask for permission and stuff. I kept flicking through channels. Weather reports, local news reports, some schlocky midday TV dramas, nature shows, more kid level cartoons. Is there anything good to watch these days? I switched over to a national level news station. On the screen, footage of the North Korean leader, Kim Jong-un, with his short, slick black hair and pudgy face, all of the group that looked like his military advisors overseeing one of his army centers. On the opposite screen, a female Japanese UN ambassador with flowing brown hair and gorgeous emerald eyes was talking. The headlines discussing new sanctions placed on the little isolated hermit nation. I said they're mowed down and started to eat. No laugh to do. Try to stay focused on a news report, considering the way things were going with J John Un and the new U.S. president, wouldn't be just a little interested in these talks. Because you know, guys, politics! 
What everyone wants in their DDLC mod? <laughs> yeah! I love politics. <laughs> yeah! Well, hello, Monica the Fox. Or, as I like to say, Foxica. <laughs> See you guys. This hello. Is, I'm just, I'm just, so, why'd you, oh, you said hello to her. I was like, why'd you say hello? <laughs> so rude. I'm not rude. I need to sleep. Good stream, Afro Zero, and thanks. I'm glad I got to catch a stream for once. All right. Good night, no Kikoto. The stream will be up tomorrow, so you can watch it. We Thank you for tuning in. Don't play Doki Doki Communist Club for the whole family. All right. I didn't plan on playing it, but I'm definitely not going to play it. Let's have a political commentary that rips apart the club for a mod short slash segment. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> My favorite part, please. <laughs> I love when mods have, have political commentary. Happy birthday, you big mean. You also remember not to loot any of the lollies. <laughs> Alright, lolly police. It's okay, I'm not a lolly looter. I might, might I refer you to Bug? I heard he loots the lollies. <laughs> Well, yeah, thank you for the birthday wishes. <laughs> Yay, politics. And try to stay focused on... No, I already fucking told this. <laughs> but my thoughts still rolled back to Sayori. I glanced down at my plate of half-eaten pancakes, the syrup already soaking into them as a slightly dough slash slightly firm mush. Maybe I should go bring her some. No harm in that, right? Just giving her some breakfast. I still have some batter left. I mold the fall over for a moment. I played with one of the pancakes on my fork. No, what an awful idea. These pancakes are kind of shitty anyway. How was it a horrible idea? She wouldn't want breakfast. <laughs> 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 like, what? You're giving her free food! She's still Sayori! <laughs> yeah, she's not different now. I'm just confused. <laughs> I took a sip of my drink to rinse the taste from my mouth. Too much batter. I'd be doing her a disservice. This is the kind of cooking Natsuki would turn her cute little nose away from in disgust. Almost dropped my fork. Natsuki. Jesus, how the hell could I forget? She was coming over tomorrow to bake for the festival! I still had to get a shit ton of supplies she wanted, and that would take at least half the day to do. To do. Eternally, I laughed. I can't even get pancakes this good, and here I am, going to bake cupcakes for a whole school. I swept my plate and dumped the rest in the trash, putting the plate in the sink. All right, guys, we're going to the we going to the store. I hustled up the stairs, I snatched up my phone and, and taped back to my last chat with Natsuki. Tapped, I taped. Tape. <laughs> Let me get the DVR. <laughs> <laughs> what did we say? She had sent me a carefully typed out list of various supplies with the shop name of where to get them and their prices. I scrolled through it again, reading each one. I glanced at my saw black laptop sitting on my desk, the screen closed. The charger port hung off the edge of the desk. The outlet plugged it. Quickly, I sat down in my chair, propped it open, and started to type. What are we typing? I stepped down in front of my wall-to-wall -wall mirror, inspecting my wardrobe. My hair was combed back to the side slightly, touched in place with a dab of gel and a spritz of hairspray. I was wearing a sleek, pressed black sweater with a white collar shirt underneath, with a pair of loose-fit jeans and brown dress shoes to match. I, I adjusted the sunglasses hanging from my collar. A very professional look, even if it's kind of going overboard. After all, I'm just going grocery shopping. And again, if I do run into somebody, I'd want to look good, no? I was down on my phone, checking my maps app. Five minute walk to the train station, then a 40-ish minute train ride to Tokyo. There you go. So we are going to the store. Oh my god! Why can't we just cut to the store?! GO TO THE STORE! I rushed down into the kitchen and opened up a pantry. Because, you know, pantries. <laughs> Snatched up two neatly folded woven bags, tucked away, and slammed the door shut. I grabbed my spare keys off the table, opened the door, and took a parting glance on the living area, and left. The time was quarter to one. FINALLY! GOING TO THE STORE! I thought we were taking a bus! <laughs> Where are we? Buses don't look like this. I put food in my mouth. That's why I'm talking. <laughs> you put food in your mouth and that's why you're talking? That doesn't make sense. That's why I'm not reading. <laughs> that's what I meant mostly <laughs> by that. Oh, 
why is Daniel Belknap talking about his underwear color in the chat? <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. My underwear is a deep shade of blue with an off-white band, more of an eggshell color. <laughs> I see! Thanks for sharing, Daniel! Very cool. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> there was very cool. See, very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe 65 degrees with light breezes. The sky clinging to a hazy overcast. The streets are relatively empty with a few cars whizzing on by. A few odd personas walking up and down the streets. I paused, feeling the wind blow against my cheeks, smiling. I twirled my house keys on my fingers for a moment, hooking them to my belt loop. I took out my headphones and started my walk. Today's gonna be a good day. I can feel it. The walk was a very brisk one, but pleasant. I passed by a few local shops, just opening up for the day, nodded, and kept on. The bus stop was sparsely populated with only a bushy bearded man, looking looked like an American, in a brown suit and an elder woman with her foldable grocery basket waiting at the benches. I took a spot on an empty bench furthest away and returned to my music. <laughs> Blaze. Jesus, Daniel, not everything's about mi about minute details. Who are you? Minute details. Who are you, MC? <laughs> like, he's not wrong. Literally, this MC describes everything. And it's like, okay, I get it. <laughs> Please, I don't need to know what- I don't- I honestly didn't need to know the people who he was standing at the bus stop with. <laughs> A man in a suit, and he could be an American. <laughs> like, I don't care! These people aren't even gonna do anything in the story! He had a little muscle on him. <laughs> <laughs> he was a little toned. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the follow, boy underscore ishi. Uh, yo, it's your boy DJ and MC Batman. <laughs> pancakes are best. Now people are talking about pancakes. Yeah, pancakes are pretty good. When <laughs> you need Sonic to say that was cool. No. <laughs> That's only- we only turn Sonic on for- during games that aren't visual novels. <laughs> so like Smash Bros later. Sonic stays on for donations though because, I mean, you guys are paying money for that. I might as well play Sonic for you. <laughs> Sonic might as well say something for that one. Zero wishes he was toned. I mean, granted, you guys don't know if I'm toned. You never see a- you never saw a face reveal. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I'm learning so much about writing by watching this. After reading a bunch of books on writing, it makes things stand out so much more. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like this mod for how descriptive it is for everything. And especially things that it's aren't really necessary. <laughs> it's because it was a fan fiction before and yeah. it had to describe everything. But now there's visuals, so it doesn't have to. Yeah, it's that's weird. the problem. The train silently pulled into the main station hub. When you click the stop, the train became alive, and everyone trying to get out at once. I waited for most people to leave before exiting myself. The station was swarming with people, moving about the little stores heading out of the station to the city. I unplugged my headphones, paying more attention to my surroundings. Cool. Very cool. Zero, shut your heck. Waffles are the best, especially with blueberry. I never said waffles are bad, I just don't like them. So, <laughs> I understand if other people like waffles. <laughs> Zero, you sound toned. Like... Thank you, Blaze. <laughs> you do. <laughs> You've seen me. <laughs> I know. But you also sound like that as well. I guess. Thank you. Wait, isn't this supposed to be a Yuri chapter? Yeah, apparently, Sean. I don't know where she is. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you, Sean. I thought it was a Yuri chapter, too. Maybe we're gonna find her in the grocery store. We were just going to the store, where are we? I don't know, Relagas, I'm just going everywhere! <laughs> I mingled with the crowd, my empty bag clutched in my hand. I reached the main plaza, where about a dozen people were enjoying their bran their brunches. The branches. <laughs> the branches. The middle tables and benches were spread out, and a large water fountain crowning the center. I took a spot on an empty table, pulling out my phone. I looked at Natsuki's list. The first store was a few blocks away, and was due to open in a few minutes. Nazi's making us go to different stores? Why can't you just go to a general store? <laughs> I clicked my tongue. Should have taken a later train. Guess there's nothing else to do but wait. 
Why can't Natsuki just make us go to Walmart or something? <laughs> yeah, but there's no Walmart around. Oh. I'm trying to send a clip, but it won't work. Yeah, sorry. Uh, we had, the bot doesn't allow links from people right now. I might disable that next stream because I know people like to send clips, but it's like that's. But also, I do it so people can't spam websites or other links. I might turn it off next stream though, if I remember. <laughs> Three hours later, both of my bags are stuck to the brim. Where is Walmart? There's no Walmart. You don't know that fox. Like I could be on the right. That we can't see. <laughs> but, but this is Japan. Japanese Walmart. Japan Walmart. Konichiwa. I don't think there is one. <laughs> Konichiwa, welcome, welcome to Walmart, Death. I don't think Japan has Walmart. Now I want to Google it. <laughs> okay. Tell us what you find Does later. Japan? Does Japan have Walmart? Natsuki's list has sent me running all over downtown. Going to some of the most obscure shops that I couldn't imagine someone like Natsuki going to. I just struck up a conversation with one of the shopkeepers and an elder man who, as shown in his tinted aging photos hung up behind his counter, fought in the war. He immediately brightened up when I mentioned Natsuki has sent me. Natsuki knows elderly people? Oh, there are Walmarts. Oh See? wait, it's not a wall. it's not called Walmart. It's not called Walmart, it's called, it's called Seiyu. Seiyu? Seiyu, Seiyu, yeah, something like uh, that. There's still a Walmart though. I guess it's still a Walmart, but it's like a different thing. Yeah, as soon as you said that, then Foxicle was like, otherwise it's something different instead of Walmart. That's why there's no Walmart. Yeah, I see, see, I see you. Well, yeah, well, yeah. you know what? You still Walmart. Anyway, time to be <laughs> everyone's favorite character, Shopkeeper. Oh, hey. Natsuki, such a sweet girl. She has a keen eye for the best <laughs> ingredients. I take it you're her boyfriend? He told me, taking a spot at his stool at the counter. I found myself blush. <laughs> no, just a friend of hers. I awkwardly adjusted the bag in my hand. He seemed surprised. Really? A handsome fellow like yourself? You look like her type. I laughed, trying to swing away from the topic. I can assure you, it's not like that. We're making snacks for school tomorrow together, and she told me to get the batter she needs here. The man smiled. A girl like her knows where to find the best. Also, yeah, wait, Relic Guys just said we're supposed to be out of school. <laughs> I'm not school. A store. Yeah, this isn't a store. This is a bakery. But we're gonna get we're gonna get dough and flour and sugar from the bakery. Yeah. Do bakeries sell batter? I don't think so. <laughs> Pretty sure bakeries just think... sell finished products. I don't think they sell ingredients. Yeah. yeah. What is wrong with this? <laughs> Maybe someone, maybe the person who wrote this just assumed how Japan was like. Like, their bakeries will sell ingredients, even though... They're saying baker, know. sorry, someone, so Blaze says, well, this bakery is a store of sorts. <laughs> yes, in Japan. Is it in Japan? In Japan is ba are bakery stores. Fucking Japan. <laughs> this, doesn't, this doesn't look like a store, this looks like a diner. Yeah, this, yeah, there's like tables and shit. This looks like a place where you would like, eat. And then leave. <laughs> Yeah, this looks like a restaurant. <laughs> Blaze, it's Japan. They probably sell stuff. <laughs> it's Japan. <laughs> oh, Japan. Japan's weird. They just, it's a store plus it's an eatery. <laughs> sure. <coughs> I've been in the business since after the war, when the Americans came in and rebuilt Tokyo from the ground up. He got up, going to his back room, still talking. Oh, I made him sound like my father. I have to give him an old man voice. I value myself and my products. It's like a little piece of me. <laughs> I always get up in the morning and head down to the market for first picks. <laughs> shuffling and a box falling. <laughs> Only the most brilliant and observant of eyes know where to find the freshest, the sweetest, You're best really of the best. Hard. What are you talking about? Like, I hear it. It sounds like Yuri, but like exaggerated a lot. What? <laughs> I can't hear you! <laughs> Keen eyes, that girl! <laughs> As he talked, I took a moment to look more at the photos hanging up. I see an anime girl in the, <laughs> in the top left photo. <laughs> that doesn't look like the war. <laughs> that doesn't look like an army photo. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
And then one, I could see a group of men sitting down at a makeshift table. Oh, in the war setting. The imperial flag of Japan hanging behind them. And I squinted to read the date. August 1943. They all had bright, wide smiles, holding their MREs up for the camera to photo photograph. True camaraderie and brotherhood. Even if they were fighting for the wrong reasons, and they ended up losing the war a year or so later. <laughs> well, Jesus. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> I wonder how many in that photo lived to see the day. He returned, only another box of batter I bought. He sets it down the counter and slides it my way. <laughs> Why is Zero trying to be funny? It's just Yuri, it's sort of funny. <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny, I'm just trying to make it realistic, guys. How the shopkeeper sounds, what are you talking about? <laughs> You, you were really, you were really trying. Like the way you were doing that voice was like you were really trying. It's no, it puts no strain on my voice though. That's just how I, that's just how I was doing it. Oh. It's free. <laughs> Tell her I said hello. If it's not much trouble, he's got to like <laughs> talk with like no breath. <laughs> Someone, <Sorry. laughs> this is the best theory chapter ever. <laughs> yeah. It's a Yuri chapter, now with 100% less Yuri! What do you mean? Yuri's right there! It's the old- it's the shopkeeper! Oh, you're right. <laughs> no wonder I gave him the Yuri voice. <laughs> the only Yuri would sound like this is if she smoked 40 cigars and saw MC's browser history. <laughs> <laughs> I thanked him with a bow, took the box, and then left. Hey, is Zombie here? I don't know. Zombie usually watches the streams. Sometimes he's just silent. I left the shop and started walking. By now the sun had broken up most of the overcast, the clouds offering no protection for the midday heat. Several blocks away, the red-white Tokyo Tower loomed, the structure glimmering in the sun rays. The foot traffic was intense as I had to squeeze my way through the crowds of businessmen and women, probably on their lunch breaks. I reached a small market square, with rows and rows of trader booths and stands behind the gated entrance. A small water fountain with a spherical gold statue marked the entrance. Encircled by benches. I sat down on one, setting my bags on my feet. It took a moment to catch my breath and took out my phone. I scrolled to the Maps app, refreshed it. The next train back to Ichikawa wasn't due for another half hour. I sighed, slowly putting my phone away. I dug into my bag and grabbed my unopened Ramune, Ramune soda bottle, popped the top and took a long swig. My eyes glazed around, eyeing the market. People were hauled around various booths, inspecting the foots and products the vendors had to offer. Fresh fish, ripe fruits, knickknacks for the rich foreigners, the works. Farther inside, I could hear lively music, sounded like a band, not just a recording. I shifted in my seat. I looked around more. Various buildings surrounding me, surrounded me. My eyes fell upon a small bookstore, the glass door propped open. Some people were sitting at the shaded tables outside the entrance, gated off. Underneath the green-white Junichiro Bookshop slash Amenti sign was a more crudely printed new shipments banner in Japanese. Through the window, I could see a cluster of people standing around, unmoving. From here, I couldn't tell what they were doing, only saw their upper bodies. Watched the activity in the window with vague interest. I checked the time again. I guess I could browse around. How convenient this is, thinking about it more. After finishing My Hero Academia, so far, I was interested in checking out the manga that came before it and seeing how it stacks up to the show. The new shipment sign gave me an inkling of hope they might have it in stock. If not, I could always look at some other series they have. Either way, it would at least kill about half an hour- CAN YOU JUST GO TO THE MANGA STORE ALREADY?! <laughs> I gathered my things and made my way across the street. Oh, welcome, Eagle, to the chat. Jeez! Hello, Eagle! Christ. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Super Saiyan God Racist. <laughs> and apparently someone followed who said that they kissed a guy's sack. Well, that's a, that's a red. <laughs> I've been here. Oh, yeah, Eagle has been here, he just hasn't said anything. <laughs> he said something earlier, but now he's saying something again. <laughs> Where is Yuri? Yuri's probably in this bookstore, if I had to guess. Oh, yeah. And I stepped into the store, which was very homely in tone. Some rows of wood bookshelves stretched all the way to the back of the store. Step-up counter was to the left of the door, with a smaller bookshelf behind it. Oh, well thank you, Burb, for watching the chat silently. 
Various posters of treasure of Japanese literature, as well as some classical art hung up around the walls. The air was pleasant and slightly cool, with a distinguished smell of cherries. In the, in the very back, I could see about ten or so people huddled around a low table draped with a white sheet, with an older woman sitting behind it, dressed formally. A short stand was next to her, with a poster board of a book cover depicting flames rising from a darkly outlined mountain. Through the smoke, I could see the silhouette of some sort of kaiju, like King Ghidorah or something. The date of release was June 2019, next year. Azusa Sasaki was her name. An author, I thought. Must be a meet and greet. I wandered to the near back of the store, it's still holding my bags. I asked all the checkmates organizing various ch genres. Check marks, not checkmates. Check marks organizing various genres. Sure enough, there was a sol there was a sol a sold a sold a solid the so sold selection. There's a sold selection of manga resting on a shelf in new condition. All right, I guess sold selection makes sense. I bent down, scanning the titles. No, no, my hero. Aha! Fingers touched the paperback side of the show, volumes one to twelve. Carefully slid it from its spot and carried it with my free hand. The other two bags hanging from my other arm. Walked up to the counter, one of the book in my hand. I slid into the counter and started pulling out some yen bills from my wallet. The one behind the counter was fairly young, maybe a year or so older than me, with hair tied and two braids resting on her chest. She quietly took my money and handed me a receipt. I started to head out the door, but my eyes turned to a group of people near the back. Curiosity got the better of me, and I started to walk over to their congregation. I slowly crept up behind the group of people. Miss Sasaki was holding a book with what looked like the same cover of the poster board stand. She was reading aloud. Amira could hear the subject's heavy footsteps as it slowly strolled around. She drew her gun close, checking the loadout. Still a few rounds left, but not like it mattered. Yards away, she could hear a deep snuff snuffling sound, like a horse or a pig. Claws scratched across the metal floor. She could hear the animal's deep breaths, the beast ribcage rising and falling. Though searching for her, she realized. She shut her, so she shut her eyes, desperately fighting off the rising sensation of fear in her gut. She drew in long, slow breaths. Her hand felt slimy against the cold metal but butt of her pistol. She couldn't stop her hands from trembling. God help her. God help her. God help her. With her free hand, she felt for the she felt for the cyanide pill in her breast patch. She gently set the book down, face up. There was a round of applause, which I joined in with. Miss Sasaki stood up and started to gather things, effectively ending the read aloud. The group seemed to mostly disperse, so if you're going to ask her for an autograph. I was about to leave when something caught my eye. Damn it, we almost got out! <laughs> I stopped. There she was. Her flowing violet hair going down her back, free of her school uniform. Faced away from me, ruffling through her knitted book, book sack. Yuri. <gasps> Yuri! Yuri? Ah! <laughs> Yuri! <laughs> We gotta get out of here! It's Yuri! Oh god! <laughs> ah. Oh, he ran away. Well. <laughs> Is she gone yet? No, she's not gonna go away till you click the screen! No! <laughs> Why is she wearing pants like that? <laughs> why is what? she wearing big, goofy glasses? Wait, why does she have glasses? What? Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? That's not Yuri. Wouldn't she need the glasses? <laughs> I mean, even if she wore glasses, they shouldn't be big like that. <laughs> I was about to say, why would she need glasses? She doesn't even wear them in club. What the heck is For she me? wearing? What are those pants? I feel like, why do I feel like this is like a, a, a rip of another uh, outfit from another visual novel just pasted on her body? I, I, it really looks like that. Blaze Zero, stop dissing Yuri. I was joking, but... And then Blaze, Yuri's glasses and shirts are really off. Get rid of those glasses. Yeah, Harry Potter cosplay. She works for UPS. <laughs> she works for UPS. <laughs> it's a disguise. <laughs> Of course. She's Clark Kent. Her pants are shiny. They are. What is that outfit? I don't like it. Yeah. Crazy atmosphere grape. She turned on me, taken aback. 
She was war- she was warring- warring? I think that means wearing. <laughs> wearing a neatly pressed white button-up shirt. Which, may I add, did wonders in showing off her mature figure. <laughs> Nats- <Did> it? <laughs> Nats- it, it looks like she's ten! <laughs> she does. <laughs> Natsuki, why are her glasses half of her face? <laughs> yeah, those are so pink. Honestly, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm with Rella, guys. I hope it's a disguise and this isn't, like, what she actually wears. Yeah. Did she lose weight and keep the shirt? It seems like she took her shirt f from her fat father as a hand-me-down. <laughs> <laughs> Please. She actually lives in the dumpster outside. Mm -hmm. Uh, she, <laughs> you know. <laughs> My God. She was wearing a pair of slightly thick, round and black reading glasses, matching her stylish black boots. Zero. Well, what a pleasant surprise. She it tucked some so of her weird. hair back behind her ear, face a wash of blush. She clearly wasn't expecting to run into anyone from school. I smiled. It's great to see you, Yuri. Let me just say, you have a lovely outfit on. Stop lying! <laughs> her glasses, can I say something? Her glasses, they're not even, like, positions in a way where it matches her face. That's literally just a PNG <laughs> of glasses put onto her face. I'm pretty sure that's her entire outfit. No, I know, the outfit's drawn. Yeah, but the glasses... Like, well, the glasses aren't, them. but the outfit's drawn. The shirt and pants are drawn. Yeah. But, but yeah, the yeah, outfit... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't being phony. She looked drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> okay. He's just being nice. He's just being nice at this point. I mean, it's based off a of fanfic. The fanfic probably imagined her looking beautiful in it. Yeah. Yuri blush, slightly turning her face away, hand up to her cheek to hide her blush. Oh, thank you. It's different from my school wardrobe, isn't it? She awkwardly laughed. I nodded. It looks great on you. I love the glasses. I said, tapping my temples. Stop talk. Don't talk about the glasses. <laughs> the glasses is the biggest problem. <laughs> <laughs> she smiled in return. What brings you here, Zero? I never expect to see you in a bookstore. Uh, not that I'm implying you're dumb or anything. I just, uh... I rubbed my hand slightly. <laughs> nah, I know what you mean. I was just in the neighborhood because I was shopping for some baking stuff Natsuki needed for tomorrow. She smiled slightly. Oh, how considerate of you. Monica told me not to worry about bringing supplies over to her home, so I don't need to worry much. So I need to. So I don't need to worry about that. Yeah, cause Monica just told you not to worry about. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to bring that up. Just that. Just I don't. Cause it's the fact that worry and worry are in the uh, worry about and worry about are in the exact same parts. <laughs> They're right above each other. <laughs> Book two is to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're right there, so that's why I pointed it out, because I was like, well, well, yeah, you don't. <laughs> Go back to her other casual outfit. Yeah, why didn't she just wear her other casual outfit? Why this? <laughs> yeah, they could have drawn glasses, like, like, if they really wanted to, but I don't know. Blaze said, as the stream stopped, there's just my Wi-Fi. It isn't letting me watch Zero roast Yuri's outfit. <laughs> uh -oh. I think it's her Wi-Fi, Blaze. Which is a big oof. The outfit is fine. This is those damn glasses. I don't know. The shirt's a little odd. <laughs> her boobs are so big in that shirt. The, her boobs make her look fat. Yeah. <laughs> I think they tried to make the shirt tuck into the belt, but they didn't do it right. Because it's sticking out, you know? Mm hmm. That's cool. I left it on my bag slightly. I can't take your ears serious in the outfit. Neither can I, Grievous. I just finished my shopping and decided to pop in here to browse around. I tried to conceal the bag holding the My Hero Academia manga behind the other two, but I'm pretty sure Yuri saw it anyway. Ah, oh, hell. I'm not even hiding it anyway. I remember telling her that I read mostly manga my first day at the club, which was almost a week ago. Wow, time flies. Being a guy, I had no interest in joining a club of my own merits, and here I am about to bake snacks for one. Plus, I miss Sasaki, busy talking to a trio of Japanese schoolboys, and look, look, looked like fourth years, silently nodding as she spoke, as she spoke, showing complete respect. <laughs> Zero stop fat shaming. It's not fat shaming if the shirt what she wears makes her look fat when she's not. <laughs> 
How is that fat shaming? <laughs> That's not fat shaming. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't duck the doggos. <laughs> Sean, what are you spreading in the chat? <laughs> Remember, kids, don't duck the doggos. I think I almost said don't fuck the doggos. Don't do that either. Who boos on the size of cannonballs. Thank you, Grievous. Very cool. I feel like I mixed a solid minute of roast. Uh, if we don't roast her that much anymore, Blaze, you've kind of just been doing it a little bit. Well, no, you didn't miss that many roasts. Zero, why are you looking at her boobs? I don't know! Maybe it's because they're literally right there! <laughs> <laughs> like, they're literally, like, two steps away from the- like, little two looks away from the text box! <laughs> they're bigger than her head! <laughs> randomness, Zero. I'm spreading randomness. Oh. They'd be spreading awareness. <laughs> May I ask what brought you here? I said, turning back to Yuri. Yuri smiled. Oh, I was just here to attend a, a meet and greet with the Portrait of Markov author. You recall the book I talked about in one of our first meetings? Alright. Oh, that twisted Nazi torture novel or whatever. That cover on the poster stand definitely fell in tune with that sort of flavor of writing, especially with that haunting little excerpt I heard a few lines on. I nodded. Yeah, I remember. Yuri smiled brighter. He's excited almost. It was wonderful. I got my original copy of Markov signed and managed to win a pre-order ticket for her next book, Subject DX, in a raffle contest. And that is a prequel to one of her earlier works, which I've heard is a similar tone to Markov. It's another book I've been postponing on reading until I finish rereading Markov. I smiled listening to her talk. Yuri was involved in her books, entranced almost, and it was pleasant to hear her so eagerly talk about something she clearly loves and cares about. Say the question, Eagle, and I'll tell her. It's a heavy change of pace from the, from the persona I knew from the literature club. Usually so shy and timid unless otherwise revealed. Even if I knew next to nothing about Miss Sasaki's works, I still love hearing Yuri talk, to, talk animatedly about it anyway. Animatedly about it anyway. She stopped herself and blushed again. Uh, I'm sorry, Zero. Oh my fucking god, Eagle. <laughs> Eagle's like, I have a huge qu I have a huge question for Monica. I'm ordering food. Should I get nachos or grilled cheese or sliders with fries or a broccoli cheddar soup with a bread bowl? I forgot half of what it, what that said. Should Eagle get nachos, <laughs> grilled cheese, sliders nachos. with fries, or a broccoli cheddar soup with a bread bowl? Nachos. Wait, Eagle, couldn't you just make your own grilled cheese? Why would you order that? <laughs> it's, I mean, it's probably because it tastes better. It's like, it's like, why would you order, uh, pizza if you can oh, make it yourself? You I know? guess. I guess. Well, no, but, they, but grilled cheese is way easier to make than pizza. <laughs> See, even Eagle agreed. I he mean, said true. <laughs> uh, oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, it's like if I ordered a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> He says, is that possible? He said, nachos it is. Thank you, Monica. Probably from some places. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm glad you enjoy your... I, I, I hope you enjoy your food. Boy says, or make your grilled cheeses and get the sliders and fries. See? Save an eagle money. <laughs> you probably don't want to hear me ramble. Oh, that's Yuri. You probably don't want to hear me ramble. There we go. <laughs> she glanced away, watching embarrassment. I shook my head no. Absolutely not. I love hearing you talk about things you're interested in. Don't think I don't. Do you, you really mean that, Zero? Absolutely. Yuri's face sad and with a trace of disbelief lingering in her expression. Forgive me, but it's just... In my adolescence, I was always shunned for having such a deep interest in literature like Markov. I was told to keep it to myself or at home. Hearing you say that is... She twirled a strand of her hair. Enlightening. When I was looking up at my next train ride back, I noticed there was a coffee shop was a block or so away from the market. Hint, hint, zero. What are you trying to give me a hint of, bro? I guess. What are you saying? <laughs> what are you hinting at me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. 
You don't want to hear you ramble either, Zero. Well, Blue Demo, if you don't want to hear a Zero rambling, then maybe you need to not watch the video. Zero rambling is what you get. You get z you get Monica laughing, me rambling, then talking to chat. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> Still, though, those clothes don't fit her well. I don't think they ever will. She needs clothes her type. I agree, zombie. That's what we've all been talking about. I agree. Are we gonna ask Yuri for coffee? At least I think it was a coffee shop. Hopefully it was open by now. Well, consider this a little sudden, but if you have a moment, would you like to join me for a drink? Okay, wait, I have a question. <laughs> Why would he ask Yuri out today to hang out with her when Sayori legit just told him she's depressed and he has a oh, yeah, free like day? It's like he completely forgot about what happened, even though he was stressing about it. Exactly. Like, wouldn't it make more sense to, hey, I have a free day before Natsuki shows up. Maybe I should hang out with Sayori again. No, let's ignore her and go hang out with someone else. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Please. Zero rambling can be good. But when Zero rambles as MC rambles uh, about Yuri rambling is too much. <laughs> <laughs> Rambleception. I pay to hear zero ramble. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> like, this doesn't make sense. Like, wouldn't it make more sense to talk to your friend who is dealing with depression? <laughs> when MC is retarded. <laughs> Which is all the time. <laughs> because there wasn't enough Yuri time, of course. Sean makes a good point, guys. MC has the mega dense. Because all the chatters need the spotlight. <laughs> All the all the chat. <laughs> you meant characters. Wow, MC is a player even when his best friend is a depressive episode and has another girl coming over to the next day. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? <laughs> I'm gonna ask Yuri for coffee, even though even though I have a romantic interest with Natsuki and one of my other friends are dealing with depression. <laughs> hey Monica, you wanna do something later? I'm gonna movie? Yeah, like seriously. It's Ramble Session. Hey, Zero, you stole my joke. I mean, come on, Daniel. It was a pretty obvious joke. We both took the shot. I have to go, Zero. Hope you have a good time. See ya, Lolly Police. Thanks for showing up. Goodbye, MC the Lily. pimp. <laughs> well, consider this a little sudden, but if you have a moment, would you like to join me for a drink? I know a coffee shop not very far from here. You can tell me more about some of the other places Miss Sasaki has written. Some of the pieces Miss Sasaki has written, if you'd like. Yuri seemed to take him back. But really? Are you sure? I shrugged. I, sh I struggled? <laughs> I struggled slightly. What's a struggle? It's up to interpretation. <laughs> Is it where you struggle to shrug? <laughs> you know those, like, exercises you do in gym class where you, like, put your... move your shoulders in, like, a circular motion? <laughs> that's, what, that's what that is. <laughs> the struggle. The struggle. <laughs> Sounds like a dance move. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'll pay for your drink if you want. I don't mind. Yuri blushed feverishly. Oh, there's no need for that, and I can pay on my own. She paused. Then yes, if you'd like to, I'd be more than happy to join you for a moment. She adjusted the book sack in her hand. There's a lot I want to tell you about. Starting to move to the door, and I followed her. Really? I opened the door for her. Like what? Oh, what are you all talking about? Oh, Nani? Starbucks? <laughs> Starbucks. Guys, it's Starbucks. Here come Knock from Final Fantasy XV just to say, hey, Knock isn't here. He told me he couldn't make it to the street. <laughs> copyright. <laughs> Natsuki yelled copyright. Oh no. Copyright no, infringement. No, it's okay, Natsuki. Their full logo isn't there. <laughs> the Starbucks part isn't there. They're gonna get copy striked. No, oh, no. Oh, and again, no. the CG is pretty alright. The glasses are even drawn really huge in the CG. Why are they so big? <laughs> Is there a reason that Yuri's outfit is like the stereotypical nerd outfit? <laughs> because she reads books? 
Is that honestly why? Like, that's what her outfit is. Like, the big glasses. Like, <laughs> why did they make her but wear those? That doesn't fit her character. She's not a nerd. <laughs> I feel like if they were going to give her glasses, make them, like, smaller glasses. Like, small, like, sophisticated like glasses. 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 Not, like, big, like, children glasses. <laughs> like, reading glasses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the CG's alright. Looks like Yuri's hair is made of candy, though. <laughs> God, it does. <laughs> so it's that shiny. <laughs> you can just eat it. Is Yuri a nerd? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Thinking emoji? <laughs> no way. Yes way, Zero. But how? That doesn't even make any sense. Well, it would make sense if you read it. Yuri and I were seated beneath a shaded table outside the coffee shop I saw earlier. Thankfully, it was open by this time of day, sparsely, po sparsely populated with mostly young faces. Students and aspiring writers, it seemed. She kind of looks like Velma from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> we took a spot outside on the foyer with, like, longer hair. We took a spot outside on the foyer and a couple blocks away, the Tokyo Tower loomed. From my seat, I had a perfect view of the tower, rising up over a thousand feet into the sky, towering above the street. I took, a, I took a moment to take a bite of my apple fritter, glazed to perfection. Yuri sipped her steaming coffee, her steaming coffee, brewed heavy with milk and a dash of cinnamon shaving. Look at her arms. Why? <laughs> They're shiny. Oh, she, 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 she looks like she just went through a car wash with wax. They kind of look like, they kind of look like, like action figure arms. Nobody in this, this visual level is real. <laughs> They're all, They're all just toys. <gasps> oh no, Andy's coming! <laughs> <laughs> just fall over. <laughs> <laughs> the way Sasaki explains it is the genetic coding of the subject has the ability to quickly self-heal, even for a large open wound like gunfire and etc. During the story, it's able to take on a military level fire and emerge just fine in the end, even with direct hits to the core regions of the body. Does this mean bad MC lives? <laughs> He explains that the genetic coding of the subject has ability to quickly self-heal. Oh my god! Eagle, I didn't know. <laughs> Love and literature spoils fruits. <laughs> yeah, Zero, totally. <laughs> Eagle, why didn't you say you were doing the fruits and Love and Literature collab? <laughs> what are you so mad about? You can't even say that without laughing. <laughs> So, it was a birthday surprise. Oh, Eagle, just shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, he loves the mods and Natsuki. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as it connects the fruits, I love it. I'm just <laughs> Sadly, this mod does not connect the fruits. Why would <laughs> Everything should connect the fruits. <laughs> then it'll be good mod. <laughs> That ability is the ultimate key to its survival and how it eludes the hunters for so long. So what? It's basically indestructible? How do they even kill it? Oh, uh, I shouldn't spoil it for you. I somehow put her down and looked up at her. Oh, come on, Yuri. Just a little bit. Yuri playfully folded her arms, almost defiant. N no, Zero. Go ahead and read the book and maybe you'll learn how they kill it. Which they eventually do. I wave my hands in an almost defensive posture. Okay, okay. I'll order a copy later when I get home. You've convinced me. Why are you going to force me to spend money on a book? You're, you're mean. <laughs> I lightly laugh. I fall silent for a moment. Cars honked and sped down the busy street. A trio of people sitting at the table next to us started to get up and leave. Zero, you don't love- Zero d didn't love mod- didn't love mod? No, he wants to die reading it! <laughs> Says <Mosky. laughs> Alright, I don't hate this mod, it's just I don't love it either. It's- to me, it's very meh. Ah, uh, Zero, I forgot to do something. I was eating, so I forgot to do this. What's this, zombie? Also, if you're just eating, you should- is this still chapter 9? This is chapter 9, Nuts. Yes. Been like 15 minutes without this, so don't duck the doggos. Sean, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Chat, I love you.
Wait, did she just say she won't spoil it and literally spoils it two seconds later by saying they killed the fake? <laughs> Wait, I forgot what she did! <laughs> Wait. Wait, where was it? Where was it? Zero, go ahead, read the book. Maybe you Oh, yeah, she's like, I won't- Where was it? Hold on. Yeah, I shouldn't spoil it for you. Oh, come on, Yuri. No, Zero. Maybe you learn how they kill it, which they do. So she just tells you that they kill it, and she's like, well, then you get to find out how. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> oh, the host. Thank you, zombie. <laughs> I hate you too, Zero. Well, Monica, the, the Foxica, when did I say I hate you? Oh, no, well, you said that because I said I love the chat. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> well, you can hate me, but that doesn't mean I won't love you. Wait, was I the one who caught that? I think you might have been, Blaze. God damn it, Yuri. I mean, God. Yeah. True, people sitting at the table. Oh, yeah, we heard that. Yuri spoke. So, how are you enjoying the Literature Club, Zero? I nodded. It's been great. I'll admit, I didn't have high hopes for me being in the club at first, but I'm pleased to say I'm loving it. ba da ba 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 I'm loving it. Well, you've been really sweet and nice to me, and I feel at home with you all. Forgive me if I haven't said it yet, but thank you for being so warm to me. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's good to do you feel comfortable with us. I know Monica was especially worried that you might be intimidated by us. It's silly, I know, but, uh, well, you are the only boy in our club so far. Yeah. I just took a cup of my dish. Well, maybe that'll change when we present for the festival, right? You seem to draw back when I said that. Uh, Zero, may I be honest? I nodded. Sure, what's wrong? I you chased her over coffee cup with her finger, just like she did the day I first met her. Well, don't you enjoy Lurgic Club the way it is currently? We are small, but closely knit. I thought about it for a moment. It's certainly nice to be in such a small club, but it feels more homely. But certainly Monica is hoping a presentation for the festival is going to draw in more members. If she wants to be able to compete and be on the level of the other, much more popular clubs, she's gonna want all the people she can find to join. As for me personally, well, it certainly wouldn't hurt to have, like, one or two more new members. Not a whole lot, but a few fresh faces. What makes you ask? Mary nervously adjusted her plate. I, well, the idea to present the festival wasn't my idea. Monica started it, and I was voted out three to one by the others. That was before you joined. Really? I say, surprised. Why did you say no? Yuri glances away. I... I just like the way the club is. How small it is, I mean. I'm not pleased with the idea of there being a lot of people I don't know joining a club I find a lot of happiness in. I just don't want that ruined. She glanced away again. Forgive me, I must seem so rude. I shook my head. No, it's completely understandable. You want to keep things the same, not wanting to change is natural. I pause. Well, I don't want to seem negative, but I don't think you should worry about being a line of people wanting to join the club after the festival. Here he gave me a look. What makes you say that? I mind rolled back to my second day with the club, seeing the sign-up sheet next to the bulletin board, with a row of empty name slots stretching down the end of the paper. Even so, it would be so rude to flat out say nobody likes literature the way the club does, especially to someone like Yuri. How we word it? Well, we do have a lot of competition. There's the Computer Engineering Club, the Culinary Arts, Political Discussion, the Anime Club, Theater Arts. Yuri nodded. Yes, there's a lot of other, much more established clubs out there. We only just formed the Lurch Club a month ago. Some of the clubs might have been here since before we even started year one. And they have budgets and fundraisers and sponsors and... Yuri trailed off. Perhaps you're right, Zero. She took a sip of her coffee. Maybe I am worrying for nothing. Chances are we may have just be overlooked by other students in favor of more popular clubs. <laughs> what is happening to Sayori? I'm worried. Yeah, I don't know, Rally guys. We just kind of left her. I just noticed that she's wearing short sleeves. Yeah, she is wearing short sleeves, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's her arms. 
Wait, how could the girls fall for this MC? What did he offer them? Who's been his wingman? Are they on drugs? I don't know, Blaze. To be fair, I don't know how- I don't think any of- I think the only girls who fell for him in this mod or slash story has been Natsuki and Sayori. Because Monica seems like she doesn't really have, like, a love interest in him. She obviously- she's- she's- there, some of her dialogue seems to, seems to show that she has no actual, like, love. She has no feelings for him. She just likes him as a friend. And Yuri, I guess, also friend, it seems. I don't know. Maybe Yuri's the third one. But yeah, Monica seems like she's fine with not being with him. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's not pay attention to what's happening, but let's get some twisty fries. No! We ran out of twisty fries, Titanfall. We only got curly fries now. Also zero people can also zero people can fake emotions. Can they though? Well, I mean, I know they can do that. I mean, Monica might like the MC. I'm not gonna sit here and act like she she there's definitely a chance. I'm not gonna sit here and act like she definitely doesn't. Cause I mean, I don't fucking know how this mod goes. <laughs> to be honest, I don't blame Monica for not being into this MC. I wouldn't either, Blaze. <laughs> Chances are we made to be overlooked by other students in favor of more popular clubs. Titan is fine, Zero. Alright, yeah, I'll just call you Titan. <laughs> keep keep calling you after a game. <laughs> Didn't Monica say she was going to perform a song at the festival? Let me adjust this. Yeah. Eep. There we go. Yuri's face lightened, trying to recall. Yeah, she was supposed to. I remember Sayori getting excited like she usually does, and Monica accidentally revealed it. My heart stung upon hearing mention of Sayori. I wonder what she's doing right now. I'm gonna keep the mind off her constant negative feelings. Does Monica say anything about it since? Yuri nodded. She mentioned that she wants to play the song for me tomorrow, so I can give her a critique on it. I paused thoughtfully. That's sweet of her. You don't have to tell me how it sounds. I bet it'll be great. Yuri smiled, a trace of red on her cheeks. Well, when Monica's the one behind it, you know it'll be something beautiful. Another pause. What about you and Natsuki, Zero? I glanced off from my cup of coffee. Hmm? Well, uh, everyone else in the club, you two seem to be getting along the best. <laughs> I can feel a little heat rising in my cheeks. Uh. Oh, don't take it the wrong way. I just meant you two have become friends, I take it. I swallowed. Yeah, I think so. We get along pretty well. Yuri smiled. That's good. I see you got her a gift. I glanced up, up from my coffee cup. Hmm? Yuri glanced down to our table and pointed directly to the bag containing the My Hero Academia manga set. The manga you brought at the bookstore, is it not a gift for her? So she did notice. I set the cup back down. Uh, well, it was actually something I bought for myself. I said shakily. I see. What series is it? My Hero Academia. I don't think you've ever heard of it. Actually, I think I have. Yuri ran her finger along the edge of her cup. It's about, uh, superheroes, right? Hmm, kinda. I shifted into my seat. It's a world where a majority of the population has a quirk or a type of superhuman trait, say telekinesis or flight. The story follows this one, but why am I explaining my hero? Was the, was the author just really into my hero at the time? <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly. The story follows this one boy, Midori- I... Hmm? <laughs> it's like, I heard this explanation literally a few days ago. <laughs> yeah, because we're watching it right now, because I'm showing it to you right now. So I was like, yeah. last night you get to hear about it again, Monica, ooh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and before this mod spoils something in the anime. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not looking at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it will. Midori Izuku was, bo was born without a quirk, but adopts him from a famous hero. Well, they just spoiled episode two? <laughs> oh. And goes on to join a school for aspiring her heroes. It's a good combination of slice of life, adventure, and fantasy. Yuri nodded silently, soaking in my every word. I think it's really good. It's not about horror, but I think you'd enjoy it. Does Natsuki like it? Yuri said, almost cutting me off. I paused. I'm not sure. She's probably heard of it, at least. 
I only know she's in the Parfait Girls, which is pretty different from my hero. <laughs> Yuri said nothing. You, uh, you could ask her if she's heard of it. With this, Yuri blushed. No, no, I couldn't. Why not? Yuri looks ashamed. I don't think Natsuki would want me to bug her. What? Why? I said, puzzled. In the time I've known her, Natsuki never really showed any... Any any ill, well, I said little, ill feelings to Yuri, at least that I'm aware of. Unless that isn't the case. Yuri continued. I might think it's because of how different we are, as people, and, and as writers. You know, how she's very light with words, whereas I prefer to be very heavy. When we shared our poems, we'd silently go back and forth on writing styles. I always defend my idea that, a majority of the time, being vivid with your words is a more satisfying means of writing, where she rebukes with the concept of less is more. I'm not dismissing her, but I still defend my arguments. She glanced away. Still, I think she doesn't like me. She probably thinks I'm trying to talk down to her, which I would never do. Considering how small she is, she's probably dealt with people being so con con condescending to her her whole life. As a fellow writer and fellow club member, I still respect her despite her differences. But I don't think she knows that. Yuri's deep, soothing voice chipped on that last line. A silence followed. I really don't think that's the case, Yuri. She's never told me anything bad about you to me before. Whenever she's mentioned you, it's always been in a good way. She isn't the type of person to hate criticism just for, just for getting it. If anything, she probably wants to learn from you to help improve herself as, as a writer. Yuri sat silently for a moment. I don't know how she does it. I blinked. Sorry? How could she be so confident in herself? With her baking, her manga, her writing, I can never reach for that sort of self-loving, even if I try. Where I find it so hard to open up and discuss my writing unless otherwise, she really shows it off and has a sense of pride over it I just can't find. What the fuck's happening in chat? Zero, they're trying to hurt me and now the chat is going crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> the hell's Fox talking about? Yuri's been holding that cup up to her face this entire time. <laughs> At this point, she's spilling coffee on her, so... She's, she's like, her face is probably really hot. <laughs> to be honest, it's like Yuri wrote this mod and went on ham on the details. Yeah, Blaze, it definitely <laughs> feels like that. <laughs> Stop trying to harm the fox. I don't think they're trying to hurt- What the fuck? Titan just said laser core hits fox. <laughs> what the fuck? What? <laughs> well, well, Foxica just like hide in like a small hole or something. Foxes are small. <laughs> it's okay. I give Eagle the permission to protect you. <laughs> <laughs> How can she be like that? I didn't, I didn't have an immediate response. Well, I'm not sure I'd answer that, Yuri. She made a slight wave. It's okay. That was a dumb question anyway. Maybe you should ask her. What? Yeah, well, first actually message her. Start off with the manga and say we're interested in it, and you wanted a recommendation. I'm not sure to get her talking. But... But what if she doesn't want to talk to me? What if I find that my worst fears are true? I shift in my seat and look Yuri in the eyes. I can almost assure you that won't happen. Natsuki doesn't hate you, trust me. She's a lot nicer than you think. And I bet she wants to talk to you as well. Maybe she even has the same sentiments you have for her. You never know until you try to reach out. I took a last bite from my apple fritter. Wait, Din Zero says he's going to finish them out tonight? I did, Blaze, because after this, there's only one chapter. Even though it took us an hour already <laughs> just trying to get through this chapter. I mean, if you ping me in Discord, nothing's going to happen because I'm in streamer mode. <laughs> and a moderator's probably going to mute you. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. there's no point. <laughs> you get nothing out of it. It's like a last bite from my apple fritter. You should try to, and see what happens. Then build up from there. 
It's like the old saying, the greatest adventures began with a single step, and here's your first step. You really looked ready to tear up. I hope she didn't. Th thank you, Zero. I appreciate your words a lot. If I get a chance, I'll try to message her later today. I smiled. Let me know how that goes. Yuri cleared her throat. So, tell me more about this Midoriya Izuku character, if you don't mind. Who did he get his quirk from? He got it from All Might! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that was supposed to be a secret! It's actually not, to be fair. The description, I'm pretty sure the trailer of the anime shows that. <laughs> I was I was making a joke. <laughs> oh, I thought you were being serious. <laughs> no. Because I know some people might have considered that a spoiler, but if you actually look at the trailer to the anime, they, like, they tell you. <laughs> I said it's supposed to be a secret because, you know, in the anime it's a secret. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Oh, no, shit! <laughs> now the world knows! Quirk. Now All Might's gonna get me! <laughs> I didn't tell them what his quirk was. <laughs> what the fuck? Natsuki was like, welcome to the shoulder of Eagle. It's a comfortable place. I thought Natsuki was my shoulder, Lolly! Uh, looks like she's found someone else, Zero. That's an oof. I need a new shoulder lolly. <laughs> I'll be your shoulder lolly. No, you're not a lolly. <laughs> I can be one if you want me to. No! <laughs> <laughs> I can be one if you want me to. No! <laughs> <laughs> I have the voice capacity to do. Zero, she is your shoulder lolly. Oh, thank you, Eagle, for reassuring me. <laughs> It's okay, Eagle. <laughs> You're lucky the lolly police is in here. I never said that it was anything lewd. She just sits on my shoulder. It's like Pikachu mm -hmm. with Ash. Mm-hmm. Natsuki said I split myself like an AI. It's okay. Oh, okay. Natsuki no shadow clone jutsu. <laughs> Hello. There's just two Natsukis. Another hour passed, and Yuri and I continue talking about My Hero Academia. I eagerly filled her in on the basic plot, the antagonist, and where you could watch it. I recommended a few streaming sites. <laughs> Illegal streaming sites! <laughs> <laughs> After that, I told her about a couple more manga series and their adaptations she might like. She listened patiently, asking a bunch of questions about the plots and characters. She seemed very interested to know about what kind of series Natsuki liked, but all I told her was, to her slightest may, that she'd have to ask for herself. Soon she got a call and she told me she had to return home. It's quite understandable, as it was starting to grow dark. Carefully took our table, trash, and dumped it and said my goodbyes to her. I reaffirmed my promise to buy the book she was so eagerly told me about, hopefully it doesn't cost too much, and started to head out. I glanced out my phone, seeing there were a few texts in the literature club chat. I opened it up. <laughs> Gibbs Bond, where's your shoulder, Zero? <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't want anyone else on my shoulder! <laughs> What about me? I can be on your shoulder. Okay, fine. You and Natsuki are allowed on my shoulder. Yay! <laughs> but no one else. <laughs> yeah, no one else. <laughs> Water is wet. Thank you, Titan. Very cool. <laughs> really? I didn't know that. Can I be on head? You know what, Relagast? You can sit on my head. I'll allow that. Relagast can do it. He's, he's just right on my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not make this not safe for work, Zero. It's not safe for work. It's safe for work. <laughs> it's not safe for work, huh? It's not not safe for work. <laughs> <laughs> Back off my shoulder. <laughs> Natsuki, it's okay. Relic Gas isn't going on the shoulder. He's just going to sit on my hair. <laughs> I have the head hiss. <laughs> he hissed at Natsuki, oh no. <laughs> Don't forget everyone's task for tomorrow. Yuri, feel free to come over any time you want. You, you already have my address, just text where you show up. Zero, did you get the stuff I needed? I quickly typed. Yeah, I've just spent all day getting them, getting them, FYI. You're welcome. Text me and I'll show you what I managed to find. <laughs> Natsuki put in all caps. <laughs> okay! <laughs> I've never seen her put OK in all caps before. 
I clicked my phone off and shoved it in my pocket. I paused for a moment to retrieve my headphones and unsangled them and plugged them into my phone. Up above, I could hear what the silent whoop 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 of a passing helicopter. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I was being to set, the eco friendly street lights gently flickering on. Giving a final goodbye to Yuri, standing on the street's edge waiting for a taxi cab, I turned to walk across the street back to the, back to the train station. It's okay, Natsuki. That was an accident. Oh, she had her she had caps lock like all she had caps lock on by accident. It's okay, Natsuki. You're a special little bean. You've unlocked a special poem. Please read it. <laughs> Please read it. I'm now. sorry. I'm sorry. I let all of you down. I've been nothing but a bird into the This is in Sayori's fault. See? <laughs> he fucked up! <laughs> You can't imagine the endless pain I go through every day, knowing now how worthless I am. A favorite of society to my school, to my loved ones. The crushing feeling that um, no matter how hard you try or what you do in life, you will never truly mean anything to anyone. I just can't take it anymore. Monica, I'm sorry. I've let you down as a vice president and as a friend. You must feel so ashamed to know me, but I hope this will, feel, this will free you in some way. Yuri, you're one of the smartest people I've ever met, even if I didn't understand your words sometimes. <laughs> I still love hearing you talk. <laughs> I'm laughing at that. <laughs> Even if I don't understand your words. I know you're going to be a really don't good laugh. writer one day. I just wish I could be around to read them. Natsuki, you're always such a sweet, Whoa. nice person to me, and thank you for always making me for always making me treats, which are some of the best I've ever had. Thanks for being my best friend. To the person reading this, you've always been my dearest friend, and I thank you, and thank you forever for that. I'm sorry for always holding you back and stressing you out over keeping me happy. Thank you for everything. Mom and Dad, you don't have to worry about me anymore. You can live your lives happily and not spend every aching minute stressing over your damaged, awful daughter. It's okay. You don't have to worry about me anymore. Finally, the sunshine will make the rain clouds go away. Thank you all for everything you did for me. I'm give I'm giving up. Love, Sayori. Osaka. <laughs> Chapter 10. Sayori Sunrise. Oh, boy! <laughs> Well, this one sounds like, this one just sounds like a good old time. Ah! <laughs> hey, wait, yeah, Will's right. This is a poem? That didn't rhyme. <laughs> ah! Well, oh, Jesus, did a playful rose at all? <laughs> Please. <laughs> what did he say? He said, oh, Jesus, I did a playful roast, and all of a sudden, Sayori has a suicide No. <laughs> <laughs> Just jump from zero to a hundred. Morning of the festival. Oh my god. Well, here it comes. Oh my fucking god. The bright chorus of the native white eye birds fill the damp morning air. Dew clings to my window. Rolling down the window pane in parallel lines and pulling up in the little puddles on my windowsill. Soft orchestral music plays on my phone, still hooked up to its charger on my desk. I stare into my bathroom mirror. Adjusting my hair with a comb ever so slightly. Last night, I'd stayed up cleaning and ironing my uniform out to make sure it was absolutely perfect and ready for the day. It's Monday, the morning of the festival. Monica had texted the group chat earlier that she was already at school helping out the student council and that the preparations for everyone's booth. She specifically requested that each of us show up on time this morning and come to the foyer to assist, mentioning she already had four she already had us for excuse for first period. It was seven nineteen AM. My playlist shuffles, switching to a slightly cheerful, p cheery piano tune. I listened, busying myself with brushing my teeth and getting ready for the day. So do you think Monica's behind this? I don't know, actually. I don't think she's behind this. We'll see what happens. I don't think so. My mind swirls with the still fresh memories of yesterday. Natsuki came over as expected, and we had spent almost the entire day together, laughing and experimenting with baking and enjoying each other's presence. Hey, it's this song though. What is the appropriate song to be playing right now? <laughs> the kitchen is a mess of dirty bowls, spilled flour, and plastic bags that call for frosting. In one corner sits a gigantic pink binder full of Natsuki's homemade recipes. The binder opens up the random page of her cupcake section. A small mixer that Natsuki brought in her duffel bag sits plugged up next to it. The mixer wasn't big enough to mix all the batter at once, so we've had to do it several times over. Oh, okay, they just skipped when they did that day. Okay, that's cool. I'm down with it. Oh. Zero, my stream froze. That's an oof, Clint. Yeah, Clint, refresh, like Relagast suggested. 
I like you just said zero on my stream, bros. How am I supposed? <laughs> this is real. Why not give him advice? He can't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> Refresh the page. Wait a second. <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh, oh, okay. No, we just went back to this. Okay, I guess. Okay, we just skipped a lot of what we've been doing. Nazi stands next to me, leaning over to get a full view of my work. Gigantic bowl filled with the main badger cupcake batter lays before me, along with a few smaller bowls. Nasky points at the bowl. Okay, now take the batter and start pouring them, pouring them into the bowls. Obediently, I set out the five bowls next to each other. I carefully grab the main batter bowl with both hands and slowly pour an even amount of batter into them. Good, now put a few drops of coloring into them. I quickly take one of the bottles of food coloring and squirt a few drops into the batter. I repeat the process for the other four bottles. Now whisk it! I grab the whisk and start to swirl the batter around. I repeat the process with the four other four batters. Natsuki pauses. Alright, let's move on to the icing. As he turns to face the counter behind us, where all the icing supplies are sitting. And set up bowls of weights with various icings already poured inside. She walks up to the counter and grabs the whisker and hands it to me. Okay, now start to whisk it. Natsuki watches me whisk the icing for about 20 seconds, soaking in my every movement. I feel like I'm being interrogated, interrogated for murder. She frowns at me, and I feel an icy heat crawl at my neck. You definitely messed up somehow. She clears her throat. Um, why are you doing it like that? I pause. Like what? I respond hesitantly. She gives me a look. Why are you doing it so slow? I'll be here all night if you do it at that pace. I feel a hot wave of embarrassment wash over me. Sorry, I just... Uh... I stutter, lost her response. Nasty scoffs and makes a motion for me to move aside. I do so. Zero, you can't be so gentle with it. She picks up the balls, whisking and grabs the whisk. You gotta... Ferocity starts to aggressively whisk the icing. Really beat the shit out of it! Just beat it until it's down to soup! She seems to literally beat it, and a feverishly focused look on her face. I take a step back, anticipating the disaster. Speckles of icing start to dot her apron. Natsuki, you might want to... Without warning, the bowl sips, slips from her hand in almost comical fashion. fashion. Natsuki yelps as the bowl flies in the air and dumps the entirety of its contents onto me. My face, neck, and apron are coated in the half-beaten blue icing. For a second, the two of us stand in silent shock. Natsuki's hand covers her face, threatened with embarrassment. Zero, I... Slowly, I lift my finger up and scoop some of the ice from my face and bring it to my mouth. Most amazingly sweet and del 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 delectable flavors dance in my mouth. Well, at least it tastes good. Nasty sputters and breaks down to shaky laughter. She covers her mouth with her hands, trying to stop herself. I join in the laughter, slowly wiping away the icing with my hands. Sh shut, shut it, dummy! Oh! <laughs> Relic has donated five dollars. Go to Sayori now! <laughs> <laughs> No! Stop talking to Natsuki and go! <laughs> I like how they just showed that and then now it's like, Hey, Natsuki time! Yeah, fuck this shit. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, it was a flashback. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow, look at you, Rilla Guest. Your money actually made it go straight to Sayori. <laughs> He put, I'm worried in all caps. After I got cleaned up, it took me two showers to get the smell of blueberry icing out of my hair. He finished up with the baking and put the trays in the oven to cook. Nasky seemed especially proud of my work overall, which made me especially happy. When the cupcakes were finished, I helped her with the actual decorating. The idea she had has to spell out, the, spell out a word onto each cupcake with icing, so each guest can find a word they like and choose a cupcake based on that. After about half an hour, we made 50 perfect, cute little cupcakes packed up in plastic containers and ready for tomorrow. After that, we sort of laid around up in my room, not sure of what to do next. As Nasuke told me, there was an anime adaptation of Park Bay Girls, which I was immediately curious to see. Or just a piece of the split, with Nasuke ended up eating more than I did. For the rest of the night, we just lay down on my bed and watched the first season, which promises to finish it later on some which we with promises to finish it later on some day. When it started getting darker, her dad came by and picked her up, and that ended the night. It was so... pleasant. Just being around her, listening to her anim animatedly talk about how loyal the Parfait Girls anime was to the source material. 
Frella Gas donated one dollar. My child, oh God, be okay. <laughs> We talked about school, the literature club, about our plans for the winter break. We may plan to hang out again like this sometimes during the break, and about our favorite mangas. I wonder what she's doing right now, I think to myself. Probably getting ready for a day, I imagine. She didn't ask me to keep the cupcake containers at my house overnight, which seemed unusual to do, but I went along with it anyway. Maybe I should text her. <laughs> Eagle donated one dollar. She's dead. <laughs> yeah, that's dead. Eagle so mean. <laughs> <laughs> my alarm interrupts my phone's playlist, meaning it's time to call Sayori to wake her up. I unplug my phone from its charger, dial Sayori's number, and hold my phone to the ear to my ear. Thirty seconds of ringing follows. Mm. I end the call and redial. This time, the call immediately hangs up. I frown and open up my messaging app. It's as there's icon to start to type. Coming over, I did send and shove my phone back into my pocket. I head downstairs, grab my keys, and head out the door. <laughs> Not zero. Nico hurt Eagle. Tell Nico to stop hurting Eagle. <laughs> oh. In a few minutes, I approach Sayori's house. I open the gate and walk up to her door. I knock, and there's a pause. Who is it? Oh, wait, that's a, that's a boy, that's a guy, it's a mister. Who is it? <laughs> I immediately recognize the voice. It was Mr. Osaka, Sayori's father. I shift a little. Even years later, he's still as intimidating as when I was a kid. Oh, the lamp! It was him! <laughs> <laughs> the lamp knows. He usually was the one to oversee Sayori and I's playdates, and he always seemed a little more watchful to me than Sayori, making sure that I didn't do anything to embarrass or hurt his daughter. Zero! S Sayori's friend! From down the street? He pauses. Are you here to walk her to school? Yes. I desperately answer. Come in, then! I turn the knob to the door and head inside. Hi, Mr. Osaka! Oh, he's not even here. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Osaka doesn't even look at me, but tells me to head up to her room. I swallow, still a bit nervous in the encounter. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> my, <laughs> Rally Gast, he donated again. My child, hurry. <laughs> <laughs> I start to walk up the staircase to Sayori's room. Various photos of Sayori and her family, her wide smile adoring them all, decorate the walls. The photos are all very candid, set on a picnic or a park or a zoo or wherever. In almost all the photos featuring young Sayori, I recognize my younger self with her. I slowly approach her bedroom door. Sayori? I tap my knuckle on the door. No response. I try again, a little harder. Sayori, it's me, Zero. I hear a light, surprised squeak, but it sounded almost constricted. No mistaking it was Sayori. Sayori? Are you okay? I say, worry creeping up my spine. I jiggled the doorknob. Locked. Low, gurgling sound emanates from Sayori's room, painful and drawn out. A sound no human should naturally make. I feel myself start to panic. I knock on the door again, jiggling the doorknob. Sayori? I repeat, fear taking hold of me. What's going on? Downstairs, I hear Mr. Osaka call out, his voice still intimidating me. Everything okay? Fear locks my voice, unable to speak. Primordial panic takes over my body, my heart, and my thoughts. I start to slam up against the door, trying to break it down. My hands are shaking, clenching the fists as my body rocks the door. The doorknob jiggles, the lock staying in place. What the fuck is going up? What the fuck is going on up there? Sayori? I hear footsteps coming down, booming downstairs, starting the way up the stairs. Muffled, I can hear ragged, quick gasps of air. From beyond the door, a choked voice, Sayori's. No! With all my strength, I burst down the door. Sayo! <laughs> I 
can't comprehend when my eyes behold me. Hanging from a thick, frayed rope is Sayori, her head tilted at an unnatural angle, the roll, the roll dangling her pr precariously in the air. The roll? The rope, dangling her precariously in the air. Her chest is half exposed, her nightgown unbuttoned slightly and drooping over her shoulder. The desk chair is knocked over her bare feet, flinging aimlessly in space. Her eyes are cloudy and bleak, the blues I know washed out. Desperately, she claws at the rope around her neck. Blood oozes from her hands and dribbles down her arms, little droplets staining her shirt. Sunlight streamed in through her open window and reflected on her body. It gave her an angelic glow, but for all the horrifically, horrifically wrong reasons. Her eyes bulge out in horror and fear of my presence. A limp arm reaches out to me. She attempts to speak. Zero. Help. Her eyes flutter closed. It really be like that sometimes. <laughs> hey, my peeps! Well, the second mod update has been finally released. Oh, it made you happy and sad at the same time. Keep in mind that this story isn't over yet, and you can still save her. Anyway, as a thanks to give and a bit of a story to tell. First, I'd like to thank the Nazis Meme Bakery, Nazis Meme Bakery on Instagram, who wrote the entire story for this mod. I actually asked them if it was okay if I could mod it, without knowing what a huge commitment would be. Obviously, they've been so supportive and. So supportive and kind to me. If you're reading this, thank you. You're truly incredible. Next, I thank my friends. Ever since school started again, I'm extremely stressed and had feelings I was losing connection with all of them. They've been inc incredibly supportive and kind to me, and it really showed me that I definitely did not lose connections with them. Thank you, guys. I didn't think you guys would know how much I care about all of you. Okay, this is going to sound cheesy, but my followers on Instagram, you guys are so generous and supportive. It feels like you're, it feels like for the first time, I have an account that's truly me without having to feel embarrassed. Thank you for appreciating my art, even if it's still not that good at all, well, and telling me to keep going. To wrap up this long letter, I want to thank you, the player, as well. Whether you're a follower from my Instagram, came straight from Nazi's meme, Instagram, or fanfic, one of my friends are at school or in my class, which, how the heck did you find this mod? Or someone who likes to play DLC mods, thank you. People like you keep me going and keep amazing games like Doku Doku Lurch Club alive. Cannot thank you enough for that. Okay, enough of my rambling. Let's wrap it up with this quote. For you, I could pretend I was happy when I was sad. For you, I could pretend like I was strong when I was hurt. I wish love was perfect as love itself. I wish all my weakness could be hidden. I grew a flower that couldn't, that can't be bloomed in a dream that can't come true. Stay strong, Suki. Well, there we go. <laughs> Eagle, she's dead. No, she's dead. She isn't dead, Eagle. <laughs> Let's pull a Washington and burn and blow up the body. All right, so anyway. That made me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Well, the funny thing is, I like how they kind of confirmed she isn't dead by saying, you can still save her. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's like, well, then I guess she isn't dead then. <laughs> My child. I'm, so, I'm sad. It's okay, Relagas. She's not dead. The thing said you could still save her, so I'm pretty sure she's not dead. They were lying. Pretty sure, though. They even said you could save her. I'm gonna save a dead person. <laughs> They're lying. You can save her. Doesn't mean you will. Pretty sure you will, though. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing this mod, they're not gonna kill anybody. And you know what? If she does die, it's MC's fault. <laughs> he's, fu he's fucking stupid. That's really fucked up. That's really fucked up. If she dies, it's the MC's fault, even though the MC in the original game. Yeah, but this okay. one, it's especially his fault. <laughs> <laughs> he's honestly so stupid. Zero, you let me die. That was that, that was that was the other MC. It wasn't me. You missed me with that shit. Y'all really thought that was me, though? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway... Ah, the stretch! <laughs> yeah! Well, this 11 literature is done! Zero, I love you. Natsuki says she loves me because I'm playing her song <laughs> that she made for me. 
Because she put, she put a surprise man, and she put OMG. <laughs> Happy birthday, Zero. Thanks, Will. Too much Sayori death for me. Gibbs really be out here. Too much Sayori death for him. Mm. It's been an hour and 45. Jesus Christ. Uh. Hmm. I'm thinking about stuff right now. I'll read chat and think. Happy birthday. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Relic Guest. Uh, also, I guess I forgot to read Eagle's donation message. <laughs> I fucking knew it. I told you. <laughs> Eagle, we all knew she was gonna hang herself. <laughs> Relic Guest is just going on a rant about the MC. <laughs> He had so much he could do, but no! Gotta be with Yuri! He's pissed! <laughs> Happy birthday, Zero, for the third time. Thank you, Foxica. Zero, do you have Windows 10? I do, Blue Demo. I do. She got caught slipping again. Well, happy birthday, Zero. Glad I could kind of spend it with you for a bit. Thank you, Gibbs Bond. I'm glad you could too. MC is an idiot. You tell him, Majora Link. Everybody, let's team up on the MC and get Batman. <laughs> oh, she was sad, but gotta get supplies. <laughs> He's like so pissed. She was sad, but gotta get supplies. Oh. <laughs> uh. Let's all kick MC's ass. I'm out, happy birthday zero. See ya, Sting. All right, well, it's been an hour 30, so I guess we can stream some Smash Bros for a bit. Ah!